Good morning, students of class 10. You are welcome back to the e classes now. We are doing English class and uh, we are doing the poem Fire and Ice. And it is uh, written by uh, Robert Frost. Robert Frost is the uh, author of this poem. He, uh, he wrote this poem. And today's date is uh, 25th of May 2021. So now here, in our uh, previous class, we have learned about the central idea or the theme of the poem. Today, we'll go through uh, part by part. First, we'll talk about end of the world. Then, we'll talk about two different beliefs. And we'll talk about poet's view. Three things today. And next class, we'll talk about the ice. First, end of the world. Part one, number one. A, one A. Listen carefully and try to understand and uh, follow. It is certain, certain means sure. It is certain that this world will come to an end. It is sure. There is no doubt that everything that is present will come to an end. A beginning, whatever has started will come to an end. Beginning will have an end. So these are the two sides of the same coin. So it is certain, sure that this world will come to an end sooner or later, not now, maybe it will take millions of years, but ultimately it will come to an end. So, the poet shares the belief, what people think, the belief of the people that everything that exists now, whatever things, whatever materialistic things are there on the present, on the present on the earth at present, so it will come to an end, nothing is permanent over here. And this belief he shares with us that exists now will end sooner or later. Now or later on it will come to an end. So he shares this belief with us. Number B, the poet deals with the very often asked question. So very often people ask this question, how will the world end? So the poet deals with the very often asked question about the end of the world. So people are very curious, desirous, wanted to know something that how the world have started and how it will come to an end. So will it remain like this forever? So these are the various questions people very often ask. And uh, besides people also know that whatever has started or whatever is born, whatever is there, it will come to an end ultimately. So. Number two, two different belief. People, they believe in two different ways. Number A, the poet talks about two different beliefs of the people regarding the end of this material world. So the world is made of matters, various kind of matters. So it will come to an end ultimately. So poet deals with this and he talks about two different belief people uh, have. Number B, some say, some people say that the world will end in fire and the world will be reduced to a fireball in the end. Some people, they believe that in the end, the, the world will end in fire. It will turn into a fireball. So, and the, according to the poet, the fire represents the passion, the love, love for money, love for power, love for position. And Passion means great desire. So this will reduce the earth into a fireball. Ultimately, there will be fights. There will be a lot of destructions. Everything will burn and it, it will ultimately it will come to an end. So according to that, some say that the world will end in fire. The world will be reduced to a fireball in the end. What is the meaning of fireball? Fireball means the, the people start throwing bombs at each other and there will be fireballs and everything will destroy. Why? Because they are, uh, they have the uh, passion for power. So in this way, there are others who think that there are other people who think that this world will end in ice. Some other people say that no, 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 the, the world will end in ice. How? Freezing. It will be very cold, freezing all kinds of life into death and destruction. Ultimately, there will be death and destruction. So what does the writer means by uh, ice? The ice means the hate, hatred, 
people start hating each other and with the hate they have they will destroy each other so ultimately there will be destruction so now poets view let's talk about the poets view what poet thinks now there are two points the poet sides supports and sides with those who believe that this world will end in fire the pop the poet says that yes i support those people or i uh, i'll side with those people who believe that the world will come to an end uh, because of fire because fire is a symbol of human passion yes according to the writer according to the poet fire represents the human passion passion means a strong desire human passion passion for various things power position money prestige dignity so human passion it also stand for uncontrolled desire desire passions for passions of love so love of money love of position love of uh, power so this that's why the poet supports it's very likely that the world will come to an end um, in fire because human beings have great desires passions passions and love for various things such as money power position that's why ultimately it will come to an end and very soon because you can see you have learnt in the history also many wars have been fought why because there is there was they had the passion for power and so in this way so the poet says that he himself has tasted these desires he, he the poet says that i have experienced he says that he has already experienced these passions passions and passion for love and love for uh, love of money love of position love uh, to achieve the goal or whatever it is the poet says that he himself has tasted of desires he is very much aware very much he knew what will happen if you have very strong desire for something so he is very much aware of the potential there are two of so very much aware of the potential potential means ability capacity of un unchecked passions if your passions for something which is harmful for you and if it is unchecked naturally it will destroy you it will reduce you so potential of unchecked passions and fire of love of causing death and destruction ultimately so the world according to the writer he sides with those be people who believe that the world will come to an end in, in fire so causing death and destruction because of the human passion so in the next video we'll talk about about the ice ice represents hate and cold reason cold reason means to do or act without thinking or wanted to take revenge on someone else so that is the whole reason so without thinking if you do the work without thinking naturally you will spoil the world you will ruin yourself or you will not achieve your goal and hate if you hate somebody you are not hating him you are hating yourself so in this way hatred and cold reason will also be destruction that represents ice according to the point so we'll talk about that in the next class so right now you have these three points and uh, you go through this online properly if you read the poem only it will be very difficult for you to understand it's not everything you mentioned over there the writer in a nutshell he wants us he want he wants us to learn a lot of things reason out so in this way you go through this online poem so that's all for today thank you for watching we'll meet in the next class keep on studying at home don't waste your time so that's all for today